Well, we'll just find another way then. Like here. You have an unspent skill point. You was this, right? You have skill points to spend. Select one of the skill trees to spend your points. Hmm. The survival rank gives access to supporting abilities, blueprints and gadgets. To increase survival ra rank, complete quests helps other survivors and participate in challenges. The higher rank, the better the equipment offered in shops. Learn how to craft the most basic of things needed for survival, lockpicks, firecrackers, simple throwing stars and molotov cocktails. Gain four new slots for carrying weapons. This is interesting. Alright, agility to touch incoming attacks by jumping sideways or backwards. Move in the desired direction and press space to execute. Power tree allows you to face your opponents directly to increase your power level, engage in combat, kill your enemy. Enemies creatively and use skills from the power tree. Learn how to attack with great precision. Each strike with a plant weapon to an enemy's head has a chance to stun. That's good. Throw any melee weapon at me enemies dealing massive damage. So your body gets more athletic, you're able to absorb more damage. Lock on top of three enemies with throwing weapons, doubles damage dealt by throwing. Hmm. Oh, so I gain uh, uh, this separately. That's good. So next one I want to get this sturdiness. I will definitely combat a lot. I hope those rotting fuckers never figure out how to climb on top of a van. Yeah, let's hope so. Doctor? Hello? Anybody there? Camden, are you there? Damn it. Uh, so, I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called Antizen. Suppresses the symptoms here, sit. Antizen postpones the inevitable. Best the GRE could do. Inevitable? So, th there's no cure? It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right now, but you see, I've been running tests on both antizen and infected tissue. A cure is possible, definitely possible. Oh shit, you really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes, I think so. Uh, where did I put that injector? Well, who's Dr. I Dr. hope Cannon? you can. A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first, well, broke out. We've been collaborating via radio, Though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit. I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city. Hoping some of the infected would eat them so I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? Uh, it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. In any case... All right. I'm quite busy, so on your way now. What was I doing? All right. Brecken sent most of his best people to... Pre Raheem, 
Zera checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, great. That ought to hold you. For a while. Which is good, because I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. <laughs> so, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. You'll find him near Zera's truck. He's got the first real job for you. Oh. Survivor rank up. Yay. Survival starter kit. Learn how to craft the most basic things needed for survival. Perfect. Hey Spike. Hi Spike. It's just what I need. More unskilled labor. All right. Shut up and pay attention. There are two types of airdrops. One is food, first aid supplies, survival gear, and such. The other kind is filled with antizen. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. Look, the trouble is, the airdrops with Antizen keep getting raided by Rise's thugs. And without Antizen, we're basically screwed. Rise and his boys only operate during the day, because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. But the next two Antizen drops are coming down right at sunset tonight, and Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. What's my part here? Well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up safe zones and traps out there for weeks now, which I have. Now, Brecken and his team will be okay tonight so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All right. What are these traps and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking you through it. Just remember, without these traps, Brecken won't survive the night. And if he doesn't come back with Antizen, we are lost. Before you head out there, grab some firecrackers. Made them myself. They make a fine distraction if you get in trouble. There is something I can loot. Oh, it's outside. Looting is the key to survival. Search body, dead bodies, chests, abandoned cars, pieces, furniture, and even trash bins to find crafting components, weapons, and money. Press Q to use the survival sense. I, to identify objects you can loot. Search the environment for huge locked chests left by other survivors. They are usually placed on rooftops beyond the reach of zombies and contain weapons and other such valuable things. I've been doing that already. No. Right, there was something I can loot right here. Okay. Twenty four. That hit flew right off. That head is also gone. And that head. But my weapon is also destroyed. Open the hood, connect the battery, that'll arm the trap. 
dann. Alright. Thank you, I guess. Hmm. No. Go away. How good is this one? Nah. Hi there. <laughs> Can't touch this. Hmm. There's something I can loot. String. Can I craft them on the way? Well, I can make uh, myself. A few medkits. Let's make lockpicks as well. That was a bit of an overkill. my flashlight there uh, now yay I see a cracked skull there.
You want some as well, don't you? Well, I give it to you. There is a chest or something here. No. How do I use the lockpick? Oh, it doesn't let me use lockpicks. Or I just can't. Well, please let me know. <laughs> if possible. Cigarettes. There's a lootable body. Say, let's drop the uh, broken weapons. Try to. Hi, come everyone. Right here. Come get me. Oh, it doesn't work anymore. Oh god. level so let's see what I can do. Your kick has a 10% chance to stun the enemy. Stunned enemies are much easier to kill. Instantly kill stunned enemies. Press F when standing in front of a stunned enemy to execute. Sure. Hi. That is a lot of loot.
I will, I will. Come here, everyone. No, you don't. Oh, that's not effective. <laughs> Stand up. Door to repair it, right? Um, this goes here. Oh, damn. Ouch. All right, that's done. So many spot bodies. I guess I went a bit overboard. <laughs> But oh well. It's the... It's the apocalypse... Apocalypse, so... Hi. You were trying to learn how to climb, eh? The first zombie who can climb... Is no more. Hmm. These are on the other side of the wall. I have an unspent skill point. Dodge incoming attacks by jumping sideways or backwards. Yeah, this is definitely useful in some cases. Something to loot here? No. But I missed something here. Let's cr let's craft some more medkits.
Okay, Jade, I'm here, along with some infected. Watch yourself. Hey. You be gone. Hmm. All right. Oh, man, I think it's too late for this guy. All right, finish it. Just okay, it's done. Fuck. A blue weapon. Nice. Drop. Drop. You had no choice. He wasn't human anymore. Now hurry. You still need to turn on the lights. That's the only way to make this place safe at night. I found the collectible. Marvin Zucker's Battle Journal, Entry Number 1 Today I figured out a pretty good use for firecrackers. I had a barrel rigged up to blow, but none, none of those damn rotters would come near it. So I got up on the roof, tossed the bundle of firecrackers next to the car, waited for them to shamble over and then boom, set it off and got every one of them. I think I might tr try to throw some right down below me and then attempt one of those ground pound moves. I've seen the guys from the tower use, assuming I ever figured out how they do that. And that's all I have right now.